All right, here we are from a closet. It's where I keep most of the stuff. And let's go over the first item. Here we go. I'm going to go over jerseys first. So for all in the basketball jerseys, I have four basketball jerseys for sale. Let's go over all four of them, which are available. Alrighty, here is the first jersey, which is a Chicago Bulls Tyson Chandler Nike jersey in good condition. Letters are uh, a bit, letters a bit fading a little bit, a little bit rough. The letters are pretty good though. Numbers kind of a bit rough though. No bad like defects or anything, just stitching is a bit off on the tag. Other than that, it's good. It's in a men's medium right there. Plus, it's a Nike team. Plus, two length. There we go. Chicago has that that um, old Chicago font like in the 80s with Michael Jordan's rookie season. Where is it, baby? Yeah, let's go see what Omar wants. Let's go. Come on. Come here. Come here. Go into bed. All right. Back to it. But this is... The first jersey that I am showing. Alright, this is the second jersey which I am showing. And it is a Miami Heat Reebok Shaq jersey. Oh, Shaquille O'Neal. Barbecue Chicken. Superman. You all know who I'm talking about. See, good condition letters. The numbers are pretty, it's old, this is from like 2006, but they're a bit like rough, fading a little bit, but still in good condition. See, look right there. Reebok, and it's in a men's L, large. The numbers are more like distressed on the back right there, you can see. Right there. But yeah, this is the second jersey. Pretty good condition. And uh, all jerseys probably will be up for mostly the same price. Except the last one. And these are all. This is all I got for the next one. All I got about this one. Next one. Alright. What up? Time to go to the next one. We got a Adidas Allen Iverson jersey. No, but basically this is not this is new. As I, I I got it for me, but it's a bit too big. I want to get something a bit more smaller. And um, it's Adidas, aren't they? See, Adidas Authentics. It has a certain type of like logos on it. It's pretty pretty good. I like the condition of it. I like the feeling of it. It's super soft. But it's in a men's medium with the plus two length. See right here. Also got the back. Back is in pristine condition. See, so good. There we are. Iverson. You all better know who Iverson is. The question? The question? That's all I got for this one. On to the last one. Alright. This is the last jersey. And then we're on to the next few items. We have a New Orleans Hornets youth jersey in a small game. Kind of came in. He was a decent player, not a great one. But the New Orleans Hornets no longer exist. They don't. They're not a team anymore. The Hornets are now obviously Charlotte Hornets. But before they were the Pelicans, they were Hornets. Logo is very different from how it is now. But this one will probably sell for a decent price because it's a uh, youth small. But. Only bad thing about it is the letters fade. The letters are fading, so the numbers. See, yep, you get small. Right there, it's Adidas, and it's basically all letters. Kind of a bit worse on here, worse for wear. Right there, fading, but still in good condition. On to the next item. All right, we got the first pair of shoes. It is a Nike Air Half Cent. Part of Penny Hardaway's collection. 
has this like foam positive technology right here, which conforms to your feet. See his logo right there, Penny Hardaway. It has a green outsole. The only bad thing about this is, um, I'm gonna get my camera right. The only bad thing about it is this writing on the bottom. That which I don't, really know exactly how to get rid of. And the swoosh right here is a tiny, tiny bit loose. Push it a bit down. But everything else is good. Laces are good. Not chewed up. No other markings. And it comes with the OG insole. I think it was this shoe. With the cool insole. Can y'all see it? See? see if I move it a bit. See if I hold it a bit. There you go. The camera would focus. Ah, oh, damn. Can't exactly see it because the stupid camera won't focus. See? Now it won't focus. There you go. Comes there you go. Now y'all can see it. That's what the insole looks like. Penny Hardaway. <laughs> On to the next item. Here we go. All right, this is the next item, and it is a carry fly trap in a, the white, black, gray colorway. In a men's 11, UK 10. They're in really good condition. Only bad thing about them is the, is the dirt right here. Other than that, they are good. They're perfect. Let's look at the insoles, the outsoles. See if I can set them up correctly. Here we are. That's the outsoles. Perfect. They're not worn. No heel drag. Just the markings on the bottom and that. And that dirty thing. And the dirt on the toes. Other than that, they are pristine condition. Probably sell these around $50. This cause or low price is negotiable. Fifty bucks should be fine. Price is negotiable for these. Next item. All right, on to the next batch of batch of items. We got the Seattle Mariners Nike team right here. I don't exactly know what these are called. I'm not a big baseball guy. Do you know some of the teams? Seattle Mariners in a men's let's see, let's see. large, yep, large, and I uh, goes for a decent price online. Probably won't probably sell it for at least thirty bucks at the most. All prices are negotiable for my items, so if you're not fine with that, we can negotiate the price. That's what it looks like from the front, and we got the back again. No markings, no tears, no loose stitching. Everything on this is good. This is basically new condition. Yeah, basically new condition. See, right there. 12. Here we are. Next item. All right. Got the next item. Seattle Mariners again. This is a Seattle Mariners Pro Stuff. Like a jacket, sweater. And I think it's it's in a youth large. The tongue is like at the bottom. Not the tongue, but the tag. The shoes. It's right there. You get it. Damn, I can't get it. Excuse my camera, bro. I'm just fucking messing around with this. Ah, damn. Size L, 14, 16. Yep. Well, this is a vintage pro stuff Seattle Mariners in a youth large. Good condition. No defects. All right, next item. We have a two th early 2000s Reebok Green Bay Packers. I think this is like the, the coach, coach jackets. And it goes for around 30 bucks on eBay. Probably sell at around 
around that same price. Had a burp right there. No, like, markings or stains or anything. I already checked it. Arms. In good, good condition. But no stains or markings. Or any other. No loose stitching or any other defects. It's in a men's large. So you go on and probably sell it for 30 bucks. But remember, all prices are negotiable. So, if you're not fine with the price, message me. All right, next item. We have a Nike hoodie with a floral pattern. And they got the floral, the flowers right there. And it's a half zip hoodie, so it only goes halfway, not full through. And it doesn't have like that. It's not actually a hoodie, but it's like a sweater. See right there? And this is the back. Bam! We got these nice floral pattern right here all over the Nike swoosh. No other, no holes or markings on the sweater. I know that this retails for around, I think like 60 bucks. All the prices were like 60, 80. Obviously, I'm not paying paying that much for, I'm selling it for that much. I'll sell it around like the 35, 35 to $30 mark. And um, it's in a women's small yeah this is a women's small seeing i've seen like pictures of guys wearing it but not really my type type of thing says the back final pictures of it next item all right next item we have a jordan right there see the jump man paris saint germain soccer jersey in a size small rip right there size small it retails about no, was it on this one retails 90 bucks obviously i sell it for 90. sell it for a decent price for soccer jerseys usually get a decent profit depends on which ones you sell the tat the freaking hangers making it look a bit weird but yeah, retail's 90 I'll probably sell that around for the $40, $30 mark. Remember, all prices are negotiable. Engineered for championship athletes. So, next item. This one isn't something like, oh, so cool, but let's go to the next one. I know it's good. All right, next item. This next item is a 1994 Dallas Cowboys jacket. In a men's, no, that's the made in China tag. I think this is a medium. Yes, this is a medium. Let's check. Here we are, got it open. Yep, medium. Pro player by Daniel Young. See, this is what it looks like on the front. Let me zip it back up. And this is the back. As you can see on the arm, as a, uh, how long the NFL's. What year it was made and what, how, what year it was. I think this was the 75th anniversary. This is the back. It has the Dallas Cowboys star on the back. With the pro player. With the similar P. And it would have come with the hoodie attachment right there. Yep, hoodie attachment. But I wasn't able to find it where I got it. But I know this jacket goes for around 80 60 bucks. Probably sell around the sixty dollar mark, and if anyone is interested in it, we could talk about the price, and I can do a delivery or meetup. If you're long distance, ship. I usually don't price overprice on shipping, or I don't put like eleven bucks. Usually like five bucks at the most. Let's go to the next item. All right, we are on the next batch of shoes. And we got the Nike Air Max 270 React and a women's, no, youth 6Y 38.5, which is equivalent to a women's 8. So if any of you guys want to, since it's in youth, I'm selling it at a discounted price. But if anyone is interested in these, 
message me on my Instagram. There's no other... There's no defects or markings or stains. The only thing about these is that they are a bit used. Other than that, they are in pristine condition. Another retail, I think retail is like around the $80 mark. Probably sell them for like 60 bucks. Remember, all prices are negotiable. And let's go on to the next item. All right, on to the next pair of shoes. Right here, we got the Kyrie 6 Shot Clock Colorway in a men's. Uh, it's on the other side. Let's move the shoes really quick. Comes with box, and it's in a men's eight and a half, equivalent to a women's ten. So if any got any of you guys out there, uh, eight and a half. Need a pair of basketball shoes. I know the season's coming up. These are in new condition. Straight from the uh, Foot Locker. Not even used. Another, I'm selling these around retail, 120. But I'm selling them for 115. Selling these for a friend. Just trying, just trying to get some pocket cash. If you guys aren't fine with that, we could talk about the price. DM me on Instagram. You can do a meetup, or if you're international, um, I can ship. I'll give you my Mercari or something. And on to the next item. All right, we are on the next pair of shoes. Yeah, my voice was weird right there. We are on uh, with the Air Jordan 11 Low UNC 11 colorway. Jordan 11 Lowe's. And we are selling these. Selling these for a friend. And I'm selling them for around $230. So if anyone's interested. We can do a meetup. Or if you're international. I'll give you my Mercari. These are in pretty good condition. Light yellowing. And a little bit of creasing. Right there. A little tiny bit of creasing. Other than that, these are in good condition. There is no box for these, but um, that's all I can say about them. no box. Other than that, they're good. This is the last item. I don't know why it looks a bit weird like that on camera. It's fine in person. But this is a new era. New era Vancouver Grizzlies hat. Let me open it. Right there. New era. Hardwood Classics. Right there. Obviously, this team does not exist anymore. It's like a vintage style. No like markings, no stains, no defects. Everything else is good. Alright. That was the last item. Do the outro.